M0FXB, welcome to my channel just here on the Moonraker page. Uh, so thanks to them for everything they do and what it is I need. The reason I'm on here right now is I need to, uh, a code plug for my 878 plus, 878 UV2 plus. So I thought, well, that's um, interesting that I can do that. And I know the other sellers do it as well. So let's go down and I'll get the 878, which is the new model with the G the APRS receive and the 500 contacts, 500,000, um, plus larger memory and processor. So what I thought, I'd get the code plug. So scroll down, it says here, any tone file. So we'll click that. And when that fills, I'm going to install that. And then I thought to myself, yeah, it's quite handy that they have this. So let's look up a different radio and see if they've got the code, uh, code plugs for that as well. So let's try something like the ICOM... IC705. See if we can find that. Obviously, a very popular radio if I can find it. Maybe I typed it wrong. I delete that. Let's do a search there for the 705. It's got the backpack, got the tuner. Where's the actual radio? Uh, da -da -da. Right, found it in the end. Sorry about that. So look, ICOM 705 in stock. Scroll down, and if you look here, look at all these different attachments. Well worth looking at. You got the repeater list, satellite screen. I'm guessing that's like a background image. Um, some more images here for the 7300, and the ICA16. Not really sure what that is. Brandmeister England, BM England. So that's worth looking at. So a few bits you can put here on onto your 705 thanks to Moonraker. Let's click one of these images and see what it looks like. There you go. It's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe you can add that to your boot up screen. Let's try another one. Uh, da, da, da. No, let's check this bottom one. I'm not really sure what that one is. Let's click it. Oh, it's a different radio altogether, so just wonder what that was. Okay, let's try a, a different radio. Right, here we are on the Anytone AT578 Pro. Again, very nice DMR radio. Let's scroll down and look at the Attachment, there you go. Any tone files, you click that. What we'll do, we'll open the one that I did for this 878. So, what do you click it? Create, remember a folder. I've created a folder called Moonraker and I go extract to. Let's see if I can find my Moonraker folder. Moonraker, Moonraker. Oh, I've got too many things here, as you can see. So for now, I'll put it into my Anytone folder and just click OK. And that will I've already, I've already done it, so click Yes to All. So let's put a copy of it in there. Right, so let's look for another radio. Let's see what else they got. So here's an older radio. So this is like the um, MD380. This is the dual band version. Like the, and it would be the same for the RT3S same code plug I would say scroll down and look here even more and you've even got a nifty old leaflet there so there's some uh, info let's click it and that's the zip there for the oh I see when you click when you click the zip for the 878 you get the automatically get the 868 and then 578 all in one folder and you get lots of help in, info in there as well so that's worth knowing and then with the Moonraker co-plug for RT3S or MD380, you get all that. And you even get a, a little co-plug co there as well. Haven't looked at it, but that's worth knowing. Let's keep looking. Let's look, let's look at some Yesu stuff. Go Y-A-E-S-U. See if we can find a Yesu radio come up. Um, oh, there's a few radios that have come up. Let's try... The Alinko. I know that's a popular 
little DMR radio. Again, scroll down. Let's see if we've got any files there. I can't see a file there straight away. Scroll to the bottom. Possibly there is, but I just can't see it straight away. Let's try some Yesu stuff, like I said. Through on the Yesu FTDX10. Very nice radio. Uh, to compete with the 7300. Scroll down. And it looks like they're doing some promotions here as well. Free multi band antenna. Notice that it does four meters. Look, four meters. So it's definitely competing with the 7300. And look, you get this FTDX catalog. Let's click that. And we'll see what that does. And we'll have a look at something else as well. There you go. Nice, nice looking catalogue on the FTDX10. I mean, it does look like a fantastic radio, doesn't it? Um, so, it's a... I know that the 7300 is SDR. And it's got it all here. Hi, it's a hi this one's a hybrid. Narrow band SDR and direct sampling. That's a key thing with this radio that makes it different. It has direct sampling as well. So it's going to be, I think, going to be a bit heavier beast. A bit more like you'd expect from a, you know, like a, a nine... 991 radio, but they've got the technology for the really smart SDR scope. So yeah, have a look. I don't want to look for too long, so it'll make me want one. So let's keep going. We're looking at what sort of code plugs you can and data you can download from the Moonraker UK website. Let's look at something else. And they're showing the uh, ID52. I'm sure once they've got it, and they're, they're given a guide price of 499. I'm sure once they've got it, they'll have all the code plugs for that as well. I know a lot of people waiting for that. Yeah, I've got the the old. I've got the 51 plus two still. Can't see anything there straight away for the any data files. A lot of it you can get on DSTAR. Is it DSTAR.org? There's a site there. So anyway, just thought I'd have a quick look. They've definitely got all the code plugs you're going to need for DMR equipment. So uh, check it out. 7-3, all the best.